welcome to the project demonstration of solar powered agriculture robots with uh, seed sowing and plowing along with water system and leveling so it is a multi-purpose uh, agriculture robot which can control through the two modes one is the wi-fi mode so by connecting the wi-fi module to the kitch we can control the robot through the wi-fi along with operations like watering and seed sowing and also we can control the same robot through the bluetooth using sc05 so here the two input modules like uh, sc05 and esp8266 module interface to the pic microcontroller and the pic based on the commands received from these two inputs then the microcontroller will control the uh, two dc motors which are used to control the robot directions forward backward left right and stop and uh, another is uh, watering motor and uh, as well as uh, seed sowing robot uh, motor so here Robot movement uh, is a forward, backward, left, right movement controlling through the L293 motor driver. So L293 is a motor driver which can control the two DC motors when bidirectional. So for forward movement, the two DC motors will rotate forward and backward. Both are backward. And this one is a left uh, backward rotation and this one is a forward rotation for left movement in the right also in reverse direction. And uh, L293 motor driver interfaces to the PIC microcontroller at C0, C1, C2, C3 and Wi-Fi module or Bluetooth module interface rates B0, B1 and C6, C7 for the relay board. So here we are using relay board, this two relay board which is operated with 12 volts getting supply from the microcontroller triggers and it will control the uh, one is water motor as well as seed sowing uh, motor. So based on the commands will be received from the uh, microcontroller and that commands will be received through the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi module. So Wi-Fi module can be controlled, uh, we are going to send the commands through the Blink application. And uh, next we are going to distribute in the 12 volts power supply. So this is the main switch. So the 12 volts power supply will be distributed through these uh, two pins and the microcontroller will get 12 volts input here. And uh, after this 7805 regulator we are going to provide the 5 volts constant power supply. And this one is a reset switch to restart the microcontroller. And this steel plated one is, uh, this steel plated one is a crystal oscillator which will provide the 20 megahertz of clock frequency to the microcontroller. Why? Because, so to in order to execute the instruction set, we need a clock pulse to any processor. So the one clock pulse per instruction. So like that 20 mega clock pulses per second. So it will execute 20 mega instructions per second. And the whole system driven by this 12 volts, 3 amps battery. So here we can see the three battery packs each battery pack consists of three four volt one amp batteries are connected in series so we'll get one amp one amp one amp and cut in parallel so that 12 volt three amps and this can be rechargeable from the solar panel as well as from the transformer so when we uh, charge when we want to charge a battery through the solar panel so then connect the s to the s and there we can see the light indication as uh, tube for this tube lighting also it will generate some voltage and when we place on the sunlight it will take 12 hours minimum to be fully charged 12 hours of sunlight and next if you want to charge a battery whenever there is no sunlight so then from the transformer just we need to connect the T at the T slot same slot so that's why we have wrote here T or S and then connect this cable to the to the device input so then there we can see the light is fully bright because it will get the 12 volts now so it will also same take 12 hours at least so we should charge this for 12 hours by switching on the transformer then automatically the power supply will be stopped with the help of this four diodes so coming to this charging circuit so now right from the solar panel so we are going to provide the input to the charging circuits with the help of these diodes so the diodes main purpose is when we are providing dc inputs whenever the battery is fully charged it will become the high potential whenever there is no sunlight it will be it will become the low potential in order to protect the solar panel from the battery when it is fully charged then the diodes will oppose the current flow from the battery to the solar panel and uh, next is right and here this is this one is the seed purpose and seed sowing purpose and the plowing purpose and the leveling along with water system. so let us see the demonstration So now if you want to control the robot from Bluetooth, so then we need to connect the Bluetooth model here. So this is the 4 pin from the Bluetooth module. So then in the given slot, so it will accept only in one direction. 
the north side one so connect the bluetooth module here and next install these two applications so one is a blink legacy application and next is bluetooth and uh, in that right so after installing the application go to bluetooth settings of your phone right and we need to pair to our bluetooth module that is sc05 and now switch on the cage so there we can see one light is continuously blinking on this right and now search for the bluetooth module new bluetooth module right pay to that Last for the password only this is the first time one two three four is a password after pairing from the settings only one time set up from the settings one and after that go to our bluetooth application hello mm -hmm. and next now it is scan here because already we can see the in history sc05 is paired now so after successfully connected we can see the device will be connected here and also same thing Right, so it's connected. You can see the blinking got slowed down after pairing from our application only. The blinking rate will be slows down, and now we need to set up some settings more here. So then, uh, forward, backward, left, right, stop. So to change the settings one, just hold the switch and type forward U. For already explained with that, for forward U D L R C, all are capital letters for robot controlling, and for seed on. Small a seed on same uh, seed of small c, and next water motor on small b, and next water motor of small d. Remaining deselect and ASCII value. And after setting that, now we can control the robot. Let me control this on the floor directly. So now see the operation of a robot initially. For one moment. So while controlling through Bluetooth, it will take maximum one second duration more. to receive the character on the backward right and stop and left so slowly it will turn left side as there is no less creep on the floor stop and right side right and coming to the seed controlling seed on So there we can see a hole, and whenever the hole coming to the picture, that the seeds will be drop into that pipe, and it will be drops down to the floor again for seed off, right? And coming to the watering, right? So in this manner, we can control the watering directly. and let me control the same robot through the wifi module for i would to controlling purpose i am disconnecting initially we need to off this and disconnect the bluetooth module here and uh, connect the wifi module right now we have to change other settings and now just uh, here we need to do some settings in your phone so go to hotspot settings of your phone for wifi controlling purpose and change the hotspot name to project 4897 without any space without any capital letter and password 129 after enabling the hotspot along with data and now switch on the kit and now go to our application blink application so there we can see initially there is a red mark as the system got not connected into the wifi so when it's connected we can see right now red mark was gone now same here also let us see on the floor better right so forward backward stop this one is a backward and same left right mm, same here we can do the seed motor this one is the seed motor we can see and water motor and coming to the water motor right so in this manner we can control the same thing through wifi as well as bluetooth by connecting the respective input module to our pic microcontroller